Teen Williams crew. It's your girl Sand here. When today I'm off, no work today. It is Veterans Day. So my plans for today is to start the morning off with some chicken and pancakes. Yes, sir. Some chicken and pancakes with lots of syrup. Is it bad for me? Of course it is. Am I gonna eat it? Yes, I am. So I'm gonna start off with some chickens and chicken and waffles though chicken and pancakes this morning. And then I'm gonna start possibly on some Christmas decorations. Cause you know, it is um, November the, I don't know the date y'all, but it's Veterans Day. And by now we usually got half our stuff up, but my husband had knee surgery. So it kind of slowed everything down. But I will be putting up the tree, both trees today in the house. So tag along with me and enjoy the fun. Hey y'all, Sparkles um, wanted to be in the video. She wanted everybody to see that we are twinning this morning. See, she got her little hoodie. Cause she, she got a cut and she gets a little cold. She be shaking. Sparkles, say hello to everyone. Say hello, Sparkles. You see everybody looking at you. Say hello. Sparkles. 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 Stop acting like you hood. Just cause you got that hood on. Say hello. Sparkles. <coughs> yeah, she don't want to talk to y'all. Sparkles. Say hello. Sparkles. Sparkles. Sparkles, I know you hear me. Sparkles. Say hello to the people. Okay, y'all. She just want to act like that. But anyway, this is Princess Sparkles. She's my little buddy, 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 my little friend. Yes, she is. Y'all seen her before in my um, other videos. But this is Princess Sparkles. And we are twinning today with the orange on. So you can get a shot of her face. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, she acting like she's camera shy. Sparkles, say hello. Sparkles, say hello. Sparkles, say hello. 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 God, look at her eyes. Like she's just so upset with me. But really, she not. So, say Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll see y'all in a little while. <laughs> I love my little sparkles. Oh, I forgot to um show you guys the foods for our football Sundays, the last two Sundays. On Sundays, during football season, we don't cook the traditional Sunday meals. We do football foods as if we're at the game and buying some of the foods there at the stadiums. So I forgot to post the food for our last two football Sundays. So here it is. Okay, we are get ready to sit down and do football Sunday. I don't know what we're gonna look at cause they're the fussing about the game and ain't the right game that should be on. But anyway, we got mini sandwiches. That's ham, turkey, and cheese. We've got little sausages in the little blanket things. We have wings, buffalo chicken dip, French onion dip, crackers, chips, and some strawberry lemonade. So it's just me and him here today. So we're going to chill and. Yeah, me and her here, but the, the, the game ain't on that I want to be on because the, the channel, the station is off. Something wrong with the station. Okay, so he gonna be fussing today, y'all, about this game not being right. But anyway, we're gonna chill and eat. That's right, we need to protest. We need to call Congress, somebody. Okay. Okay, this is my plate. I'm in my happy place. I'm in my lazy boy chair, laid back. Um, I got one of the ham and cheese, ham and turkey and cheese biscuits, one of the sandwiches. Got some of the sausages in the crescents. I got me a wing, some crackers, 
buffalo dip back here and some chips. So I'm gonna chill and let him fuss about the game and um, we can chill. Ready for another football Sunday. We got tots, wings, um, beef, ground onions, cheese, bacon and ranch. So we're gonna do loaded tots, wings. We got dipping sauce, barbecue and buffalo. And we got the beef to um, do the um, nachos and we have some mini pizzas. So we are getting ready for football Sunday. And um, we're gonna do ice cream for dessert. Okay, these are my loaded nachos with um, cheese sauce, ranch, wild onions, and the um, bacon bits. And I got a half of one of the pieces and some wings. So about to chow down and watch this football game. Okay, y'all, chicken and waffles are on deck, like I told y'all. So, take a look. Chicken and waffles. How much of that I'm gonna eat, I don't know, but I'm about to try. Chicken and waffles on deck, first thing in the morning. But y'all did go healthy, look. I got water. <laughs> Doing your little mukbang video. Like, yes. Let's, let's sit here and talk. Like, how did y'all day go? Y'all, that's baby J over there <laughs> in the corner. She got a lot to say, but she ain't on camera. <laughs> she said she look raggedy right now. So, anyway, chicken and waffles on deck. I ain't using no hot sauce, y'all, because I don't think the hot sauce and the syrup gonna mix together. How you feel about that hot sauce and syrup? Spicy syrup? I don't know. But. I mean, maybe. Maybe. People put bacon in their syrup, so. Okay. Yeah, I do. All right, y'all. Chicken and waffles. Yeah, with your chicken. I come in the waffle. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Pancake, y'all. I keep saying waffle, but I think I said pancakes. I think I said it correctly at the beginning of the video. No, I, I said at the beginning of the video. Oh, the bit. Like You're very busy. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I might say it right here. Look. Well, Chicken and waffles. Can I put a mold or something? Do what? Can I put a mold or something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Jay won't talk to y'all. Okay. I look a little raggedy right now. Y'all, see my hair ain't all, ain't all dead. But these, you can get these at Walmart. Like, the one packs are like for a dollar. But if you get the six pack like I did, they're like three dollars and some change. They are good. They said like they got cheese in them. I don't know why, but it tastes like they got cheese in them. But they don't have cheese in them. They don't have cheese in them. But it they're tastes wrong. like it. All butter croissants, they're by market side. That's the Walmart brand. She then, loved those, y'all. She done ate this whole pack by herself. In, in the span of two days. <laughs> I, I don't know how. But you can also get, one thing I do recommend is the lemonade, the market side lemonade. They're like a dollar a bottle. You can either get the strawberry lemonade one I don't really drink the raspberry one like that because it's not as good. But I do swear by the blueberry one. The blueberry one is really good. That's lemonade though, right? <laughs> yeah, it's lemonade. All right, y'all. She put more in Walmart brand items. I don't usually do that nowadays. But nope, she don't. Because I, I did that whole Facebook post about what not to buy. Yeah, I just rubbed that chicken around in the syrup. Well, you eat chicken and honey, so it... it Shouldn't be no different. Mm -mm. Ooh. Did you know that maple syrup that you buy from the store, if it's not half price, it's not really maple syrup. Usually it's mm. corn syrup. Our pants are hot. Mm. And then if you buy honey from the store, it's not really real honey. That's corn syrup too. So if you want the actual like honey honey, either you could get the honey from the bees or you could um 
buy the expensive one because that's the most real one. But since it takes more time to process maple syrup, and you get like buckets and buckets of buckets of like syrup from like from the tree, and you boil it down, it's not really that much syrup. So yeah, I can put your tongue back some. So you can, oh no, I was. Put your toe up though. You see, you won't be seeing it. You toe up. <laughs> Maybe when I get messy, I'm looking right here. Mm. So, mm. it said that I can't eat that that waffles. I mean that pancake and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't find that interesting anymore. I've been having a weird craving for kind of don't know what it is. Yeah, so Jay's gonna have chicken and waffles, chicken and pancakes and pineapples. I don't know. So then, no, she, eating it. she put a can of pineapples in the refrigerator and let it get cold and she eat it right out the canyon. <laughs> I ate some of it yesterday, like straight out of the can, but I didn't put it in the fridge. I just put this in the fridge. Because I don't want them to go bad. <clears throat> I don't recommend it all. Oh, it's cold. I got some stuff too. Jim, get full. It's okay. <laughs> but don't get. This lady said she was looking for the pineapple juice from Libby. I got this stuff from Dollar Tree because I'm cheap. Um, but I don't recommend the pineapple juice from Libby's because it tastes nasty. It smells like a public bathroom. I don't like it. Maybe y'all might like it. But I don't like it. I don't take too kind of to it. But, um, I'll eat pineapple chunks. And I'll eat, like, I'll drink the pineapple and orange V8. Because it don't really, the V8 don't really taste like it's got pineapple in it. It tastes more like fruit punch. But I know that it's healthy and stuff like that. But, <laughs> Libby's um, pineapple juice don't get my approval, but the tidbits and stuff like that, they're okay. So, yeah. I just had a good taste of pineapple. We don't have it on because I don't even like pineapple. But y'all have a craving for pineapple for some reason? Yup. Y'all know where it came from? Nope. No idea. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to answer the question that's been asked to me by many people, whether in person at a store, on Messenger, or text messages. So the answer to the question is yes. Now you're saying, hmm, I didn't ask, I didn't answer the question, so I don't know what the question is. Cause I'm totally confused. I'm like, what you're talking about? <laughs> so Jay's like, what am I talking about? What you talking about, Miss Sand? Well, the question was, are there gonna be Papa blessings this year? And the answer is yes. We just gotta figure out what the pop-up blessings is. <laughs> nope. I already well, I don't know. I know you don't know, but I already know. So how we're gonna do it this year? We're gonna do it the same way as we did last year. You have to watch my videos to get the details. And you have to like my video, comment on my video, and share my videos to enter into the join. And I will be giving you a keyword, as always, and you would private message me on our Facebook page, We Team Williams, private message me the keyword and you will be entered into the bless, into the pop up blessing drawing, and the drawings will be done live on our Facebook page. Simple as that. Just because you mentioned the keyword, don't mean you automatically get the thing. Yeah, we have some people do that. Yeah, just because you message the keyword doesn't automatically mean you yeah. get the prize. That you means just entered in the drawing. Right. It don't mean you automatically get it. Exactly. You would just be entered into the joint. Like it's good that y'all y'all got that mindset that y'all about to get it, but yeah. Hey, that's faith. That's faith. That's faith. <laughs> that's faith. But that is the answer to the question. So yes. 
So how do I know when you're gonna do it? What, what you're gonna do? Uh, watch my video, subscribe to my channel. We know, but y'all don't know. Subscribe to my channel. I don't even and know. And watch my videos from the beginning to the end. Like my video, comment on my video, share my videos. Simple as that. So the question has been answered. Choir Minds wanted to know, so I gave you the answers. They shall return. When am I going to start? Watch my videos. She know, I don't know. <laughs> I'll clue you in after the video. I bet you will. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to eat this, y'all, and then we're going to the tree. All right, y'all, I've already started on the tree. That's the bottom half there. Our tree, it comes in three parts. It's like the biggest part, then the middle section, then the top. We bought our tree about, how long ago, man? When we bought this tree? That tree did with us about maybe five or six years. Okay, so we bought it five or six years ago from Lowe's, right? Yes. Yeah. From Lowe's five or six years ago. I know y'all not stuck on that bed on tree without me. Uh, rock room, yeah, rock room. <laughs> uh, are you coming down? As soon as I put a shirt on. Okay. Yeah, you better stop the stop the brakes. <laughs> you better do something. <laughs> <laughs> So we can't do our tradition of putting up the tree on Thanksgiving night. So we're putting the tree early so it'll be already up before we leave to go and be with the girls for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to pause and wait for baby Jane. So freeze. Thank you, Sandra Beers. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be All right, baby Thank Jane you. is here. Let's get back to the tree. So you want to start pulling that down while I go get the extend that tag? Yeah. Okay. Hey Jake, go ahead and plug it in too. Pull that socket around. Go go behind, yeah, and put it in that socket over that side. So we can make sure it still works. Cause we done had it for five or six years, so each year, you know, but it, it lasts real good. Man. Hey, that last last you four hundred something dollars with that. Four hundred, they gambling. Yeah, no, it's invested high. It was 390 son. 380 son. You need a long shirt. No, it's a long shirt. Before you paint it. Yeah. Okay, I'm the tree um i don't know if y'all do this or not but we keep our tree in the garage all year round and so we take it out a few days before we're going to put it up to actually in case any spiders or anything got in it from the garage that they'll run out for being outside so so this is the middle section y'all the middle section of the tree ready yeah okay you can pull it out more if you want to so you can um Just ain't fixed the 
Yeah, we just trying to get the tree yeah, down. Now. So now I'm going to get the top, the top, the top of the tree. The tree got arms right now. <laughs> Look at the tree. <laughs> I need to get my other stand from the church. <laughs> That's what I need to do. So anyway, we're going to go and fluff the tree now. That's over the fluff the top. No, no, don't make her way over here. Well, she done made her way off my bed. So, That's good. so we're going to fluff up the tree some. Because it's been smushed down and packed up in the... Uh, Just put them apart, put it all stuck together. I was about to say, all these years that I've been alive, I ain't 
ministries. For ministries, can I assess? It does, you know, assess. It, you know, it comes back ready to go when you soon as you put it up. But I like to fluff them out a little bit. This is a nice tree, though. We got another tree we're going to put in the, the living room. Right now, y'all, we're in the family room. But we're going to put the other tree up in the living room. But we always start here because we spend more time in here. You sure we got a place to put that tree now? We got them birds in there? No, it's in front of the window. I got the whole the area in front of the window. Go ahead. It's what, it's what the couch used to be. Uh -uh. Um, Yo, she didn't pay. Put up the furniture around y'all. She didn't pay no money to it. No, I know. That's I know right. that. But I won't, I won't pay attention because you know how you usually put it in the corner? Right. That's what well, I'm we don't have to do the corner then because we got the whole middle open there that we re um, decorated that room. Well, not redecorated, but well, we did redecorate it. We moved everything around. Because those people going to be like, Oh, you got the tree in the window. I didn't know you had the tree in the window. Yeah, we had we had a tree in there for some years. We just say put it in the window. Yeah, the tree I was being able to bend over in the corner where the um where the um birds are. Mom. Hmm? You saw that Facebook post I made a few um oh like a week or two ago? Like, oh how how do you know if um how would you let somebody know? You got kidnapped, and they had they let you keep your phone, and you gotta alert the people um, that you got kidnapped, right? Mm -hmm. I told them we ain't decorating for Christmas this year. Then they'll start texting me and wondering what's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll work too. But I did see on on a post where a a girl was kidnapped, and um she learned the signal that you can do on um. <laughs> I don't know was it on Twitter or Instagram or something, but she learned a signal that you can do to let somebody know that you're in danger, that you need help without saying anything and that your kidnapper might not even know. So I thought that was something good to share. So I'm gonna come up a little bit closer. But what it is, is that you, you do you already know it? No. Oh, okay. you do like this, you fold your thumb in and you bring your hand down like that. That's a signal that's saying that you, you're in trouble and that you need help. And that little girl, she actually did this, and somebody had maybe seen it on Twitter or something, and he kept following the car, called the police, and found out that she had been abducted by a 60 some year old man or something like that. And she actually did, but she learned how, she learned this on Instagram, I think it was, and that means that it's important to uh, recognize domestic violence or that, or that you need help. So it's just simple as this, fold your thumb in, and bring your fingers down. A hand up, thumb in, and fingers down. And that's the signal that you need help. Domestic violence, you know, alerting that you need help. So I was like, everybody need to learn that because you never know. And something as simple as a little hand gesture saved her life. And I was like, okay. So I was like, make sure I show you my girls. Just as simple as a little hand gesture. And then we got apple pie. And it said, you know, yeah, yeah, but apple word, but you just gave it out, but anyway. <laughs> they, they know us. Yeah, they know us. That's but yeah, but, but me and my girls, we made up years and years ago a cold word to say to let up me know, her daddy know that something ain't right, you know. So you, you need to think about that too. Teach your girls or your young men too a cold word to say. To let you know that something is wrong, something's not right, and we taught them that years and years ago to use the word. We just use the apple pie. But you can use any word, you know. They can say that, um, hey, I, I would love a slice of apple pie or something. So yeah, but that signal and then your cold word is something that can really maybe help save your child's life. So I saw this other little girl, it was like a little um little skit thing. Mm -hmm. And she had um this lady um was sitting beside her and this other lady. And then the um the little girl smacked the phone out of her hand. And then she was like, What's wrong with your child? Like why she keep smacking her my phone out of her hand, right? So what she did was she like every time she started late, she would smack the phone out the hand. And then one time when she was sitting there, the little girl had slipped a note in her pocket and was like, hey, I got kidnapped. That's why I keep slapping your phone down. 
Oh, wow. She was trying to get her attention by slapping her phone out her hand. Okay, y'all, after we get the tree fluffed out, and then what I normally do is, if I got some spaces got really got a really, really big hole in it, I usually cover it with a big ornament, a large size ornament to cover up and kind of hold the gaps that's in the tree. Yeah. That's gonna take a while. Okay, y'all. Now we're in the living room and we're gonna put up tree number two. I got some digging to do to find my decorations because like my husband said, I didn't pack the garage correctly from last year. That's so true. <laughs> y'all hear the background talking about that's so true. So I didn't pack it correctly, so I don't know where my decorations at. So I got a lot of moving around to do down there to find it. But I do have the second tree out on the back porch. So I'm going to um, go to the deck and start bringing in the second tree to set up here in the um, living room. The tree for this room is a a little bit smaller than the other one, and I have lost baby Jay. She was so concerned about the first tree. She's gone on there for the second tree. tree is the other one where you it's, it's in three parts see it's in three parts and you just click them in so I'm running to the back deck to get another part
Okay, so this is the, the middle section. Once you click it in, the electricity automatically goes to the next section and makes the lights come on. Look like we got a couple of dead bulbs on this one too, y'all. Let me make sure I got it hooked in, dude. tow two or three pieces of this tree in at one time because it's smaller than the other tree but I'm trying to get some exercise in at the same time Okay, here's part three. The last piece of the tree. We gotta fluff it out for them. This one I have to fluff out more than I did the other tree. Because this one, it didn't cost as much as the other tree. This one was maybe about half for the price of the other tree. I paid extra with the other tree, so I had to fluff as much. <laughs> But this tree also came from Lowe's too. We got this one from Lowe's also. Buy this back it costs it's three parts. You just click the three parts and as you click the lights come on to the, on each part, each section. So that's why I like it. It's easy to put up. Because I remember when we first started um, having our Christmases together, like when we first got married, and the trees came into branches. You got like a pole, you had to click each branch in on a tree. So you had the branches with like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way up. You had to click each branch in and build your tree. That was a lot. But it don't seem like a lot then because that's all we had back then. So that was just how you put a Christmas tree together. But now it's click, 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 and you're done. And some, some, some trees is like an umbrella. You just take it out and just go, and you're done. One step and the tree is up. Haven't got there yet. But right now I'm still loving my click, click, click and I'm done. So I'm gonna continue to fluff a little bit more on, on this tree. I'm gonna work on fluffing it. And I will probably do another video, a separate video of decorating the trees. Because as my husband stated before, I packed the garage wrong, so now I can't find my ornaments and other de decorations for the tree. 
So I have to go and move everything out, dig through the boxes, because I didn't write on the boxes what was in the boxes. Duh, that was a me moment. So I got to put everything out, dig through, find my ornaments, so I can decorate the trees. So with that being said, I'm gonna end the video right here. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our video, comment on our videos. Just, if you're just gonna say hi, or comment, you know, anything about how you store your trees, how you decorate your trees. When do your guys put up your trees? Just drop me a comment. And um, don't forget that I did answer the question in this video. So until next time, guys, give thanks, be blessed, and mwah, love you to life. And see you on my next video.